Hi everybody, Elin here today. I come to you guys with my giant TBR. <laughs> um, as you you may have known, I actually moved a few months ago. And before moving, I unhauled a shit ton of books, both books that I have read and books that I had not read. Um, so I definitely decreased the amount of books I do have. Um, but today I thought I would tell you guys what books I own that I have not yet read. I just counted them and it was a little bit more maybe than I thought because I mean I own a lot of books but I've also bought a shitload of books since moving. Um, so I actually have a TBR consisting of 124 books right now and that's still a shitload. Definitely less than before but still a shitload. So yeah we better get started because we don't want to make this video way too long. So, uh, as you may know, this is actually my TBR shelf with all of the books I have not read yet. So, the first book is uh, The Novice by Taran Matharu. This is book one in um, the Summoner series. I actually bought this one on my shopping trip together with my friend Jamie when we were at uh, Science Fiction with Handel, which is our favorite bookstore, and we always go there together. Um, so, I've had this one, I think... Um, like six months or something around there. And now we have Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. This is book two in the Ark of Scythe. And I was supposed to buy and read this one with Jamie. None of us has really started, so you know it's going well, but I did love the first book, so I should be getting on to this one. We have a behemoth of a book, and that is Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. This is supposed to be sort of a historic view uh, of the 300 years before uh, the Song of Ice and Fire series started. Um, so we get to meet the Targaryen and Aegon the Conqueror and everything like that. And then we have a review book that I got a few, like a week ago maybe. And this is Lusta Dada by Anki Edvinson. This is supposed to be, supposed to be a terror at attack uh, in Umeå and there's trying to figure out who did it and why and everything like that. We actually have two books in the same series. So we have Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. I did reread the Clockwork Angel in January. So, I mean, I need to get on to the series. I've never actually read these books. Uh, well, I have read Clockwork Angel twice now. So, I mean, I didn't love the first book. So I'm a little bit hesitant about what I think about these two. I definitely so far prefer the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. And now we have three books in the same series. We have Mörk Engel, uh, Blod och Stjärnstoff. And Gud and a Monster, all by Eleni Taylor. And I've had these books for like two or three years now. Um, so I'm planning to read this one in March. Um, but, you know, I just read to read more Eleni Taylor because I love Tracy Dreamer. So, I mean, gotta start somewhere, right? And now we have Out of the Easy by Rudas I actually started reading this one one time, so I'm on page 12. And that was a long time ago. Um, I just guess I wasn't feeling it at the time because there's supposed to be some kind of a brothel prostitute's daughter that is the main character. And I love Rudas Petty's other books. And then we have The Unbound by Victoria Schwab. This is uh, the second book in the archived duology. Trilogy. I think it's supposed to be a third book. She just hasn't written it yet. Um, I read the first book last year, I think, and I didn't love it. I had I was a little bit hesitant about it until like halfway through the book until I started to actually enjoy it. So I think I've been putting it off just because of that. Because I mean, it's a really short book, so it should be a quick read. I just I'm a little bit afraid that maybe I wouldn't like this series that much. And that's why I've been putting it off. And now we have All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. And now we have Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. I have actually started because I had this one in the Trio Chapter tag, I believe. And I'm on page 13. So maybe I should pick it up and, you know, get started again. But one knows when that will happen. Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn by Sergio Mas. This is the fifth and the sixth book in the Throne of Glass series. I do have the fourth book somewhere as well because I haven't actually read that one. So, I mean, I just need to get on to the series. It's just that I love the first book and the like prequel novellas, but then it went a little bit downhill. But I did sort of enjoy them, so I should just pick this one up. It's just that they're really chunky. Then we have The Diviners by Libra Bray. This is supposed to be sort of a supernatural kind of read that takes place in the 1926. And I've heard great things about it. I really do want to read it. I have never read anything by Little Bray before. I've had it for a really, really long time, but I just 
haven't read it. And now we have York by Laura Ruby. This is the first book in the Shadow Cipher. This is supposed to be about kids tr needing to solve this sort of puzzle to be able to get access to this building that is supposed to be torn down. And it just, it sounds really cool. It's supposed to be a middle grade book. It looks like it's a really quick read. Um, a present from Jamie that I haven't read yet is Papa Shkala by Amaju Song. She really loved it. It sounds really interesting. I just, I need to read it. We have a Winger by Andrew Smith. Haven't read it. It's about a boarding, a kid at boarding school, which is a premise I love. So I don't know why I haven't read it because I've had it for a shit long time. A Million Girls With You by Claudia Gray. Bless by Sarah Holland. City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. City of Lost Souls and uh, City of Heavenly Fire. The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, part one. The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks. Wild Magic by Tamar Pierce, which I actually started reading, but then never continued on with. I'm currently on page 26. Black Woman Soul Silver Sailor Ray J. Mass. I'm on page 62. Haven't picked it up in months. I think I started it in August of 2018. And I just never got caught up in it. So I don't know about this one. The Empress by S.J. Kincaid. I listened to The Diabolic, which is the first book in the series. I listened to it, the audiobook to reread it to be able to continue on with this one. And I like, still didn't read it because I don't know why. Because I love the first book and I just need to continue on with it. The Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan, a Rick Riordan book that I still haven't read, which is just shame on me. We have The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I put this on a few TBRs, still haven't read it, and now it's just gathering dust. Autobiography by Christina Lauren. Started reading this one. I'm on page 23. Picked it up months ago, now I picked it up again, but it is on my February TBR, so hopefully it will. You know, read it. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Bread the Gates by Savage Tahir. This is the third book in the Unnumbering Dashes. Continue on with it because I love this series so much and I still haven't read it for some reason. Salute to Tamat Strambe. I bought this one at the Gothenburg Book Fair. I really, really wanted to read it. Never ended up doing so. I've had it for like six months and I just I need to read it. And here I found Queen of Shadows by Sergio Mas. I have put it on a few TBRs, still haven't read it and I hate myself for it. The Valiant by Leslie Livingston have been on a lot of TBRs, still haven't read it. Fury Born by Clara Grand. Got this one even before it was released. It was released May 22nd, 2018. I got it in like December 2017. And I still haven't read it. So shame on me. Malice by John Gwynn. Sea Fire by Julie C. Parker. Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Sons of Thieves by Marie Pearson. The Tempest of Slaughter by Tamora Pierce. The Warrior Air by Cinda Williams Schreimer. <clears throat> Evelyn Hugo's Sju Ekta Men by Cello Jenkins Reid. Uh, Om Allt Vore Annorlunda by Senna MacDonald. Uh, Rista de Hud by Ashley Dyer. Uh, Katalysatorn by Magnus Hegelö. Uh, Eldens Mörke by Anna Nusslin. The Dödas Dolp by Jenny Töredal. Gudarnas Hymning by Cecilia Larsson Kostenius. Ur Asken av Gallus by Eva Holmqvist. Skärva av, av en bröstnämnd dad by Mattias Guldkett. Brännmält by Lisette Eldfeld. En pappersbåte by Annika Castro Nilsson. <laughs> God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. Cersei by Madeline Miller. Look at this gorgeous cover, so shiny. Founder's Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is actually a new book, so it's not that surprising that I haven't read it. Gudernas Blood by Connie Gulden. Blood's Fade and Raven's Spur by Connie Gulden. The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. Last Nam Sara by Christine Cesarelli. This is supposed to be dragons in it, but I think he actually kills the dragons, but I still should have read it because dragons. The Burning Maze by Rick Riordan. Another Rick Riordan book that I should have read a long time ago because I've had it forever. Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston, another book that has been on a, quite a few of TBRs. Ice Wolves by Amy Kaufman. This is actually our first middle grade book. I started it. I'm on page two. So obviously I didn't get very far. Uh, I just didn't feel like reading it, but I did pick it up. So I ended up reading something else and here I am still having not finished it. Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. The Storm Runner by J.C. Cervantes. Ödes Gudinnans Val and Mon Folkets Land by Caroline Hutti. Um, the Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Uh, the Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson and the last one is The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. Edge Dancer by Brandon Sanderson. Arcanum Unbounded by Brandon Sanderson. Um, the Way of Kings Part 2. Uh, the Words of Radiance Part 1. And The Words of Radiance Part 2. 
all written by Brandon Sanderson. Invictus by Ryan Grodden, which I should have read because I love time travel and yet I haven't read it. What is wrong with me? We have Outlander and Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. And I actually gotten quite far in Outlander. I'm actually on page 252. There's like 500-ish pages left. I read this in like 2017 and then just didn't pick it up when vacation ended. So shame on me. I really should have continued with this one. Uh, the Winner's Crime and The Winner's Case, both by Maria Bukowski. I've actually started this one. I'm on page 8. Once again, I started a lot of books and then just not continue with them. Even though I like them. I mean, I really like the first book, so I don't know what the hell happened here. Passenger and Wayfarer by Alexander Bracken. Uh, a Crown for Cold Silver by Alex Marshall. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. The Darkest Legacy by Alexander Bracken. Merle Dangin by Caroline Hutti. Uh, Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. And Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. 1793 by Niklas Natudal. Le Lövenskjöldskaringen, Charlotte Lövenskjöld och Anna Svärd by Selma Lagerlöf. Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. This is the book I've had the longest out of all because I've had this one for like four or five years and I still haven't read it but I still do want to. Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. And now we have the first three books in the Wheel of Time series. So we have The Eye of the World, um, The Great Hunt and The Dragon Reborn, all written by Robert Jordan. Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, the first book in The Dark Artifices. Obviously I haven't read this one because I haven't finished the Infernal Devices, devices nor have I finished Mortal Instruments and still have read, have, and still have owned this one for like two years. So I don't even know why I bought it since I hadn't finished the other ones, but it was just gorgeous, I bought it. Um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, 20 Years of Slaying, The Watcher's Guide, I'm on page, I read a bit in it, I'm on page 44, um, I got this one as a birthday present for Jamie, um, this is not a book that you like read like back to back, the entire thing, um, it's just a little bit stuff from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and I really do enjoy what I've read, but I guess I kind of haven't read in it. For a bit but I'll definitely get back to it. Um, Harry Potter History of Magic by the British Library. Valor by John Gwynne. Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. The Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. And I Darken by Kirsten White. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin and A Blade So Black by Ellen McKinney. Aaron King by Maurice Drion. Uh, Wolf Speaker, Emperor's Mage and The Realms of Gods by Tamar Pierce. Promise of Blood by Brian McKellen. And Shan Yus by Aaron Hunter. Harry Potter The Wand Collection, which I'm like halfway through for some reason. I just never finished it, but this is just a little bit of facts from the different ones. I'm actually currently reading about Professor Sprout's one. So halfway through, I should probably continue on with it so that I can actually finish it. Now we have the Uda that by Johan Egi Kranz. The complete works uh, by... <laughs> The complete works of William Shakespeare by, you know, William Shakespeare. Till Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. Beauty and the Beast and Other Classic Fairy Tales. And The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So those were all of my 123, I miscounted, 123 unread books. And as always, I regret recording this video because I'm out of breath now. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've read any of these books, um, please let me know down in the comments what you thought about them without spoiling, of course. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me some thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button down below. And yeah, I hope to see each other in the next one. Bye!